Hello guys and welcome. So we are back. Got another review of a DC Multiverse um, McFarlane figure. This one is Red Hood. I've always liked the look of Red Hood and I saw this figure that they did of him. I thought I've got to get that. Um, picked him up off Amazon actually. Uh, come next day. Good packaging. I don't know why people, I see mixed reviews about packaging from Amazon and I've never had a problem. Um, packaged fine um, yeah so no problems with that um, so what he comes with obviously the card I forgot to show these on the um, uh, Robin and Batman ones but they're pretty much all the McFarlane figures come with um, these sort of cards and it's like a little bio so um, similar to uh, on the back of Marvel Legends and stuff but this time on DC, it comes on an actual card. Um, so this is from the Three Jokers, uh, Batman, um, based on that kind of design of Red Hood or Jason Todd. Comes with the usual stand and a crowbar. Um, and that is it. And the only thing that it could have come with that would have been different would have been a gun, would have been nice. Um, seems he's got two trigger fingers, um, but crowbar he comes with, it's decent enough, um, just plastic I guess, um, holds it pretty well as well, so I might just try and find a gun somewhere just to give him, so then he's got both, but um, looks wise, really nice, like I've taken some photos with this one already, and the shine on the mask is brilliant really reflects the light nicely um the whole sculpt really nice proportions are good the um articulation isn't that bad either especially for like mcfarlane have got a bit better with their articulation from some of the older figures i've got but um head wise he goes up that far so he's got a similar kind of um movement there to robin um, he can look down that far. He hasn't got that kind of um, head movement like Batman does. Um, and his head does sit forward quite a way. It seems like it's hunched over a little bit. Um, anyway, his arms go up that high. Back that far. He has got a slight butterfly joint. Uh, if you can see in there. Um, slight butterfly joint goes forward that far upper bicep rotation double jointed elbows and a wrist swivel at the glove um yeah his wrist kind of swivels higher it's it's like it's not hinged at all it's a, on a glove and it's attached so it kind of swivels halfway up on the forearm and um, which is all right i guess um crunch goes down that far back that far and he's got a slight tilt to him as well legs go out pretty far about that far back not at all forward that far and you've got upper i thought you did but you don't um you don't have upper thigh rotation you have double jointed knees and a uh, hinge on the ankle and a really good pivot as well and toe articulation so with those pivots i mean figures that do that sort of thing you can get some really good kind of dynamic poses with them rather than just looking static like the whole time if you stand it's quite hard to stand figures on this surface because it's quite slippy but um yeah you can get some nice let me try and get him in one i had him in one earlier before i started the video there you go so i've been something like that um really like this figure uh size wise he is probably seven inch i've got Robin here, that I can stand. Pretty much similar height to Robin. He's actually shorter than the Arkham Asylum Joker though. 
um, which is annoying when you're trying to pose them together, right? which I have done on the photos for this review. But these two are exactly the same height as each other. Um, so not much difference there. But the only thing is, uh, and I said this on the review of Batman and Robin, is that McFarlane seemed to scale everything to seven inch, and don't matter how big the character is in actual comics or game or whatever. Everything is scaled to seven inch, so it's kind of, everything is that size, which is a bit weird sometimes when you've got different characters next to each other. But anyway, decent figure, definitely worth picking up. I mean, most of the Red Hood figures that McFarlane do look really cool. Um, so yeah, definitely worth picking them up. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.